Okay, so today's project has been to convert one of these Rave branded smoke machines, which is JK, you get very similar things from Aldi just about anywhere these days, um, to DMX control. Now, this is just at the, you know, it's got a standard little remote controller if you push the button down. There's a little LED that comes up on it, which tells you when it's running, it's actually a little neon. Um, I've been wanting to run it off clarity for a long time so I've made up a little uh, DMX relay kit from JCO which doesn't seem very happy so I'll just power cycle it um, the trouble is when you try to run the remote the way the current way it works is I've just jammed some wires onto the back of the remote where the switch connects to drive the circuit board now so long as you don't short those out with this on it's okay sometimes it's not so happy um, at the minute I'm running it off a little ArtNet node, it looks like the ArtNet node's crashed. So I'll just reset that and see if that helps at all. Okay, that might make this, yeah, okay, so it's a bit happier now. So in theory, the way it's currently running, when I hit the F2 button on my keyboard, which is the coolest I've assigned, I get a lovely cloud of white smoke coming out. It's a very simple little project, but the tricky bit, and this I'll show in another video, is if you have a look at the schematic. Now, this is a very basic schematic of the circuitry. Um, inside the remote, which is a sub-circuit in the circuit, you've got the input, which is your active line of the IEC, runs to a momentary switch. This is locked, latched on for some reason in the software. And that feeds down the red line, which is actually on the earth pin of the IEC. You've got to be careful because that then has 240 volts across it when you push the button down. There's also this neon, which is 120 volts, and that's crucial because that runs down this blue line. Now, when you look back at the schematic of this smoke machine, the, sec the middle line here actually feeds to the motor, um, which means that via the thermal overload switch um, and the heating element, when you push down the, the go button, for want of a better word, you connect the motor to the earth. Um, providing that the thermal overload switch is off. Now, on, sorry. Now, the thermal overload will only go on when the, the uh, there is a sufficient temperature. Uh, I believe that this is the type of switch that operates where when it reaches a certain temperature, it drops to a low impedance but still runs at a high enough impedance when it's off that you can, can uh, provide enough voltage to the heating element. Uh, and if someone could explain this in a much better way than I could, that would be great. But, um, yeah, if not not too bad. This little kit was $30 from Jayco. I don't think they have many left, so if you're after one, better hurry down. Otherwise, uh, you, you know, will be in a little bit of strife, but you can try the internet. Uh, on a quick note, although it looks like I'm feeding it with a mains cable, uh, that is actually just 12 volts. Uh, I use that for my 12 volt cable because it's a lot cheaper. Um, there's a number of things I'm not doing very well at the minute. For example, between the brown and blue terminal there is actually 240 volts at the minute. So uh, it's not very good to do it this way. I'm doing this for the purposes of demonstration. And I am going to build up a little kit. Now the reason that this uh, circuitry was significant, um, which I don't know if I explained, is that I want this to basically feed, for those who don't know how these kits work, this IEC lead here is actually the remote feed. And I wanted to have it so that the remote feed was the only connection you need to this relay apart from data. So by having, by doing this, between the blue and the brown there is actually 240 volts. So I'm going to get my hands on a little switch mode supply and uh, rip it to pieces and build that inside the controller. Uh, so hopefully this has been informative and it's got a nice little DMX control smoke machine for when I do my next shows. Thanks guys, see you later.